Oh, uh, right, this final question, uh, it actually starts off a bit oddly. Um, they've given me the overall equation, and they've given me one of the half equations. They want me to deduce the other half equation. So, uh, let's have a think about this. This is the, the one that they've given me. So the way I would tackle this is I'd match. So first of all, I'm going to do, can you see you've got two manganese there? I'm going to times this equation by two. And then I'm going to cancel. Manganate there, I've got manganate there. Mn2 plus there, I've got Mn2 plus there. Eight waters there, I've got eight waters there. I've got six H pluses there and 16 there. So I've got to get rid of 10. So I must make 10 H pluses in the other equation. I've also got to get rid of 10 electrons, so I must also produce 10 electrons there. I need 5H2O2 from there, and I must make 5O2 like so. So, obviously, well, hopefully you can see, if you divide that by 5, You end up with that one there. So the, I think probably the trickiest thing there is figuring out where well, you've got 16 but you've got to get down to 6 so therefore you have to make 10 H pluses on that side um, over there because you'd end up if you add these together you'd end up with 16 on this side 10 over that side and then you cancel down to 6 wouldn't you? And now, finally, the old titration. So, I need to calculate the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. So, standard thing, moles of MnO4 minus concentration times volume over a thousand, and that gives you 4.69 times 10 to the minus four. If I work out moles of H2O2, I need to take that number, the ratio, not change it, um, if you go back to the equation up here, which they've given you, is two to five. So I need to divide it by two and times by five, to give me my moles of H2O2. That gives me 1.1725 times 10 to the minus three. That was in 25.0 centimeters cubed. So in the 250, Here, I times it by 10. But that 250, all those moles originally were in 25. So concentration of the original is 1.1725 times 10 to the minus 2 divided by 25 times by 1,000 which gives me 0.469 moles per decimeter cube. They want it in grams per decimeter cube. Moles to grams are times by the molar mass. So that is equal to 4.69 times the molar mass of hydrogen peroxide, which is 34, gives you 15.9 grams per decimeter cubed. Now, they also want me to work out the volume of oxygen gas that would be uh, produced. Hopefully you can see for every five H2O2s, I produce five O2s. So, what I can do is I can take the moles of H2O2 
And that is actually going to be the same as the moles of oxygen gas produced. So it's going to be 1.1725 times 10 to the minus 3. And therefore the volume of O2 is 1.1725 times 10 to the minus 3 times 24. Because one mole of any gas is 24 decimeters cubed. And that gives me 0 0.0. 2814 decimeters cubed. Really important that you remember your basic mole uh, equations from AS days. Right, that's that paper wrapped up.